Alfonso Ribeiro rejects working with Tyler Perry. American actor TV host Alfonso Ribeiro has come to state that he doesn't want to work with Tyler Perry to regain Hollywood fame. All of his stories said when the former Fresh Prince of Bel Air actor said that his acting career has stalled after famously playing Carlton Banks. He made this known in a recent interview with Closer Weekly saying, Playing Carlton or Fresh Prince became a sacrifice. I used to always say, doing Carlton was the greatest and worst thing that ever happened to me. It was one of the greatest roles that I ever was fortunate enough to play, but it was also the role that stopped me from acting again because people couldn't see me as anything else. The sacrifice was not having an acting career anymore. Following that statement, an ex-user earlier uh, this week suggested that Tyler Perry should help Ribeiro's career. The user wrote, a Tyler Perry needs to revamp at Alfonso underscore Ribeiro's career. I just know he could, he could. However, Ribeiro made it uh, clear that even though he no longer gets acting jobs, he doesn't want Tyler Perry's, uh, Perry's uh, help. He responded writing, I don't need or ever want that man to do anything for me. While Alfonso Ribeiro didn't specify where the bad blood comes from, it is noted that he directed and wrote in various TV shows, which included Tyler Perry's series, Meet the Browns, in 2009 and 2010. So it remains unclear how both of them may have interacted on the show set or to what capacity. So I, I, I really... I want to hear more. You want to hear more? I want to hear more. I really want to hear more. Um, I'm not surprised. I know that when it comes to these industries, you have bad blood. You might have had somebody. People have stories to tell. Even the person that you see as the good guy. Because I know that. Because for him to just go straight up, he's complaining about playing that character on Fresh Prince of yeah. Bel-Air, which was a goofy character. Everybody loved that character yeah. for saying that character defined who he became yeah. and didn't get jobs. He ended up doing other gigs and saying he's going through a face. Yeah. And everybody knows Tyler Perry, black creator, has a massive, massive studio, always season. helping out at every if given opportunity. If I'm coming somewhere, that is unrelated yeah. to this. Always content. helping out at every given opportunity. Yeah. Then somebody saying, oh, this guy can do this. And straight up, you just say, I don't want that guy's help. Yes. For somebody that you must have worked with before, what really so, happened? So, Alfonso, we really want to know what really so happened. So something happened. Yeah. Something happened, definitely. Only that we don't know whether it would tell us or it wouldn't tell us. It should. It should. But it's not the first person that has complained, by the way. There was Monique. Yes, Mo Monique uh, complained. About and they Oprah feel like they and have and they, and they feel like they have a clique. And once you have talked about them, they will just black blacklist you yeah. and you'd never. And it's just so sad, especially with the fact that a lot of people even look up to these people because True. they feel like, oh, they're the ones really making it in life and that. And it's so disappointing to hear stuff like this at the end of the day. So the person that you think is a good guy is not all that good guy at the end of the day. So I That's what we really need to hear more. So things are happening. Things happen. And one thing, again, I've noticed in this life is that so I can be OJ's friend and OJ is very good to me and he has never done anything bad to me. And then um, OJ can be um, Catherine's friend, for instance, I'm just saying. And Catherine says, you know what? OJ has never been good to me in his life or in my life. And then you can't even, you can't even start saying, oh, no. So I can even wake up and I'm very grumpy and I run into somebody and the person greets me and I give the person an attitude. And another person sees me when I'm good and I greet the person with all the yeah. good behaviors in this life. And somebody will now go somewhere and say, Honeypot is very yeah. stuck up in, and you know, you can't even. So I think, but I want to ask something. How is it that the president of Kenya went to Tyler Perry's, um, studio? what's it called, studio and um, Tyler Perry had to write that, I'm sorry, uh, I wasn't around, and I couldn't even make it down there. And I'm like, that's a whole... Would they try that with just anybody at the end of the day? He's busy. What's the problem? <laughs> person, they're busy. You know they're around. But you know talk. that there are some people that you will leave any <laughs> protocol for. You know, he now said something like, you know what, I'll have to take a personal trip to Kenya to go and... Uh, and I am like... You felt some type so, of way? So, I... No, so... I mm, a bit so I now went to the comment section and in our edit um so Your said, oh, oh wow. <laughs> okay. Let's go on a quick break, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be back to continue the show. <laughs>